Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tie Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a Blue Wing Olive Soft Tackle Pattern tied with California Valley Quail. Another great substitute would be a Gamble Quail. We love the dun colors of quail and this is an effective pattern for us in the springtime and anytime Blue Wing Olives are hatching. With that we'll go ahead and put the hook in the vise and invite you to like the video, leave us a comment, subscribe and hit the bell to receive future notifications. This helps us out a whole lot as we try and get our content out to people and share our inspiration and knowledge. So the hook we're using is going to be the Moonlit Tagata ML102. Primarily we tie this in a size 16 and 18. We've tied it in a size 14 as well. Right now if I need to go to a size 20 I've tied it on the ML052 hook. I'm just going to start that at 3 quarters. I'm going to wrap that back to the bend of the hook. I'm going to set my thread tag end a thread off to the side I'm going to pull a piece of the quail down a, some of the bigger fibers I'm going to pull a nice small clump of fibers out of there for my tail it's a nice dun color works great for the tailing material as well I want this to be just a little bit shorter then the hook shank. So we're going to go ahead tie that in. The thread I'm using is a 12 aught Olive Dunn Classic Wax by Semper Fly. We love how this thread doesn't build up a ton of bulk, lays flat gives us a nice even smooth body so I'm gonna cut that material off and finish tying it down roughly at that same tie-in point now I'm gonna take and create a little bit of a taper to this with my thread okay I'm gonna come back here down to the back I'm gonna pull my thread out I'm going to secure and pull that tail so that it sticks up just a little bit. Now the taper of the body begins going forward and backwards. I'm going to do this three to four times just to create a nice smooth little taper to this body like a natural insect is going to have. They're slender and small but they do have a little bit of a taper in their profile. This is one of your faster patterns to tie. I'm just going to set that there to the side. I'm going to take a gray marker I'm going to mark that thread with that marker Now I'm going to go underneath that tail. Now I'm just going to create a little bit of a ribbing look, the mill spec, mill spec technique that I seen and learned from fly fish food. We'll just secure that thread off and over the top twice. Trim that out. For the dubbing, we're going to use Dark Olive, Club Dub, Seal Subs dubbing from Snake River Fly. Very cool color, got a nice little sheen to it. I don't need very much because this is a smaller fly. I just like the sheen look to this dubbing for my thorax here. And it goes on and dubs really, really well. So now I'm just going to wrap my thorax. I'm going to make sure I don't crowd the eye 
of this hook, okay? I don't want, I wanna make sure I leave myself room to wrap my hackle and my head without crowding the eye. This little bulge of dubbing for my thorax is going to help flare out my feathers. Around the neck area, you're gonna find some really cool smaller feathers, okay? I'm gonna take, and I've already prepped this feather, and I'm gonna tie this in Two wraps over the top, two wraps in front that just secures and locks that in place. Now I'm just going to separate them. Trim out that piece. Now I'm going to take my loon hackle pliers. and wrap this soft tackle palmering with each wrap to keep as clean a head as I can Oh, and I'm not gonna re-edit this video just because I did that. I want you to see that it happens. It's real, and if it happens, you can just fix it. You don't wanna pull super tight on that hackle stem because it is so fine it's easy to pop it out so now I've gotten that I've caught it twice I'm gonna pull my fibers back and wrap my head a couple two three four times now I'm gonna take my whip finish tool and whip finish my head two three I'm gonna do four times today I don't know why normally it's only three today four just felt right so I did four trim that out take a little bit of head cement I'm using the loon Put a little dab on there, let it soak in. Now I've got that hackle stem cut that out. A little piece of dubbing and there's a few fibers they're kind of screw wompy out of place a long fiber of dubbing I'll just trim that down and there we have a nice blue wing olive soft hackle tied with a California Valley quail. A Gamble's quail is another great substitute that's very similar to the California Valley. Or you can try a scaled quail as well, which is very good. We really enjoy tying with these game birds. They provide some really cool fibers and hackle. And the quail offers a lot of smaller hackle. With that, we wanna make sure that we thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like the video, leave us a comment again. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications. 
If you have any questions, we'd love to answer them in the comment section as well. Also make sure to check out the materials list and tie up some of your own. We'd love to hear how these, this pattern works for you. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.